Okay, so here is the radial arm maze. We can see it currently has these blocks which are acting as turnstiles, and then it has eight columns, or eight corridors that come off of it. Some of the turnstiles are closed. On four of the corridors, the turnstiles are open. And at the end of each corridor is a small green square. Um, so if we go to this one first, if we walk up to it, it will turn red. Uh, once the mouse uh, comes into a certain distance, and so long as the mouse is pointed at the square, then it will turn red. Uh, we do the same with this one. And then we do the same with this one. And then we can see at the moment um, there's this white pillar in the middle. Once I've made the fourth square red, this pillar will also turn red. There you go. And now to move to the next scene, if we walk up to this pillar, left click on it. We then get this um, this screen will display for 10 seconds with a countdown. Um, this is just the short delay between the two different scenes. And then we are planted back again in a very similar, uh, almost identical setting, although now all of the turnstiles are open and there is still a pillar in the middle. Um, so in this particular section, this is where a participant would have to come back and um, try to remember which of the four corridors were open and then again walk up to them and then just turn them red. The exterior walls here should be used for orientation. At the moment they've just got different like a brick, stone, an archway that's upside down and some concrete. So if I just go over four of these again and then when I've done the fourth one this column will turn red. Okay, and now if I walk up to this and click it, that will then close the application. And if we look in data, it saves the time one, the year, month, day, hour, minute, second, and then time two. So that's for the two different scenes that we were in. And if we open each of them, so let's just move, let's bring time one back in. We've got time one and time two. So we can see whenever a goal was turned red, it has a number one. And if it remained green, it stays zero. We have the start time and then the time at which each um, square was turned red. And then the end time. So the end time is when the person clicked on the red cylinder. And then for time two, it's exactly the same. And all we need to do is match up goal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ones and zeros to see if people did do the same one. So in this particular case, I've matched goal one, goal two, and goal four, but instead of doing goal five in time two, I've done goal six here. And then that's it. Um, let me know what you think.